はい In、um, today's three part series, I'm going to cover something inspired by beautiful trees like this one. We are on the other side of the moss, which I'll give you a tour of some other day. And as usual, It's cold outside, so my fingers will be a bit limited on what I can do. But I brought coffee this time. So I'm going to do a little excerpt from、uh, the Svartkonst album. From Invocation. To Svartkonst, to Afterglad. In other words, an invocation into the dark arts, followed by Afterglow.
so there's something important that I'd like to share about the thoughts behind Svartkonst. Especially this trio of songs that I feel is a very good meditation practice to get into because each of these manifestations and this ceremony feature chords that you usually have your hand in just one place on the guitar and you don't really move it from more than two or three frets so you can lock in and find a rhythm or melody and mood and the tempo that suits you <laughs> and uh, as all of the different notes in the different chords kind of belong together as I feel and see it it's something that after a couple of circulations and repetitions it's something that you easily can perform as a second nature it becomes something that is very easy to play without light in the night without looking at the guitar And that is also a part of the ritualistic approach of composing music in a kind of shamanic tradition that many of the notes are similar. So they create a kind of specific atmosphere and dissonance with uh, intent. And. Uh, that's of course what led to those compositions being selected together as they are potent but just as this scenery around me there is not really any recording device or camera that can truly capture its full beauty and glory and that's the same with performing something on an acoustic guitar when it's December in Sweden that there's no true way of doing these songs justice I always feel like they can be done better but that's also one of the fleeting charms of this album and of hypothermia in general that that's why most of the things are recorded live with just few additions afterwards and that's because you can always chase perfection but requires a lot and most of us will never reach it but it's a worthwhile pursuit nonetheless so it's about that pursuit and getting as close as possible with what means you have at the moment with that I thank you for watching see you next time Take care.